What's up guys and welcome back to Couch Coach Sports with me as always Bjorn, Bjorn my brother how are you doing? I'm doing good thanks my brother how are you? Ah bro it's ups and downs ups and downs you know how life is <laughs> exactly how we're gonna start today's <laughs> video bro Manchester United my team I was literally about to say you were are you talking about your life as a Man United fan there I think that's what most of your downs are coming from them at the moment bro bro it's actually it's ridiculous bro so today's video is gonna be like um basically way too now for United what's what's yeah. the situation looking like and all that bro so let me start this off bro so obviously being a yeah. United fan bro it's it's not the the best thing to see. I mean, the last game against Crystal Palace, we're getting pumped four 0 It's ridiculous. Four 0 yeah, so, it's a big idea. Yeah. So now, now we sit at the point like, do we keep Ten Hag? Obviously now, so Jim Radcliffe and Ineos have taken over, and mm -hmm. it's their decision now with are they keeping Ten Hag. Now, what's your opinion, bro? Are they going to keep Ten Hag or is Ten Hag gone? I don't know. For me personally, I think Ten Hag needs to go. We've used, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, um, Sir German and Ineos coming in. They probably are going to look at making some changes, but you never know because the problem is Ten Hag isn't. I don't think he's up the caliber. I think the two years I've shown, you guys have made it to a few finals, a few cup finals, but I think it's just the inconsistencies we've seen with you guys is a, is a big issue. So for me personally, I think Ten Hag needs to go. The only problem with that is <laughs> the guy that they want to bring in is Gareth Southgate. Mm. So. <laughs> I mean, that's going from worse to worse. So, if Gareth Southgate is the one that they are actually wanting to bring, I say keep Ten Hag. I think um, he's definitely a better club manager than, than Southgate is. But the, the problems are that you know, United stem deeper just from the, the manager. I mean, you guys have had top, top quality managers over the years. Even Van Gaal, who you guys criticised quite a lot, was, was, was still a very good manager. At, maybe at the end of his career, so you can maybe um, give him a little bit of, of leeway. But you guys have had Mourinho, for instance, who's a top-class manager, and we've seen that he wasn't even able to to sort United out. Mm -hmm. So I think the problem is that United do run deeper. And, uh, and another reason why I would actually say Ten Hag needs to go is if you look at the signings, the signings he's made. He's made Onana, Anthony, big, big money signings, and both of them have been so poor. I mean, Onana was like at, for the fault for both goals on, for two of the four goals, I should say, on um, Monday night against yeah. Palace. And he's just made such big, big mistakes throughout the season. Even in the Champions League, I think he was a, a big factor in why you guys actually did finish bottom of your group. So I think personally, I think Ten Hag needs to go. It just depends on who you guys bring in. What's your thoughts? I mean, you have a little bit more insight on this Bro, who you guys could possibly get. So so m my first thought is we have to keep him. The reason being is that this has been yeah. a hor horrid season off the field. Of course, okay, we've had drama with certain players, Sancho and everything, but bro, the fact that we've had so many injuries is absolutely ridiculous. The first thing that needs to happen there, they need to replace that whole medical staff. Whatever is happening there, bro, is 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 ridiculous. It's not it's not possible. How? how Do you want to know the funniest thing about the medical staff situation? You know the guy that you guys brought in this season. Yeah, yeah. it's your. Do you know who he, where he came? Yeah, he came from Arsenal. He was yeah. the chief medical examiner or something for Arsenal for the last twelve years. So. Maybe it's a bit of a double agent. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, bro. So that, I think that that needs to change first up, the no. medical stuff. Now, <clears throat> obviously, Ten Hag's brought in his players. Uh, uh, Onana is a funny one because you know he's faced the most shots in the Premier League. So, like, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna stuff up, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna score, concede when you facing that many shots. You're gonna concede. The math is is yeah. is, is just there, bro. Anthony, of course. Okay, yeah. Uh, I can understand. It's just the price tag was too ridiculous. But also at the end of the day, Ten Hag didn't get the players that he actually wanted. He wanted Frankie De Jong, didn't get him. Matthias De Ligt, didn't get him. You know what I mean? So you can't blame him in yeah. ter terms of like, yeah, he brought in these players. But they weren't always his first, absolute first choice. Now, obviously, with you guys any... are still Man United, though. Yeah, bro. you yeah, guys yeah. are Man United. At the end of the day, this is this could be the worst season you guys have ever had. I think in the it is. League. I think I mean, it might that be. Should count for something. I think it's the lowest point you've had at this point of the season if, ever, bro. If, yeah, if you guys lose one more game, you guys will finish lo the lowest you guys have ever finished in the Premier League, at least points wise. Bro, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but bro, the, and like you said, if we if Ten Hag goes, who do we move on to? Maybe Tuchel. Yeah. Tuchel, I don't know if he is. It bro, like okay, yeah, yeah. He's obviously a, a talented manager and everything. But if you can't make it work at Bayern Munich, 
There has to be something wrong with yeah. you, bro. There has to be something <laughs> wrong with that's you. That's a big yeah. That's that's a good point. That's a very good point. And I, I believe he does want he wants to come back to the the Premier League. So he's definitely an option for you guys. But I, the one that I've been hearing the most is Gareth Southgate. Yeah, yeah, I have heard Southgate, but I don't even want to think of it, bro. I just, if, if, <laughs> bro, how how am I how am I gonna support my team if Southgate's a manager? It's, I mean, Goldbridge even. I mean, for all the fans out there, I'm sure bro. you guys know about Mark Goldbridge. And he said he's pretty much going to stop doing his YouTube thing as Gareth Southgate comes in. Because he wouldn't be able to handle the stress Southgate, and the pressure. It's, it, it's, it cannot be, bro. It's just, it doesn't... Okay, he's got like an image of like media abilities. He can he can probably handle that, that side of things with United. But, bro, tactically wise, imagine us playing half the season five at the back. Maguire... Ma- yeah. Martinez and probably now it was a kid, Kwambala. Bro, uh, we, we're not winning nothing with that. Yeah. We th- and I think and I think that's what you that's such a good point you're getting onto. I think the biggest change you're gonna need at United is is a boatload of players have, have, having to leave. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Maguire, I Very think he's important. from the Mourinho era, if I'm not mistaken, and stuff. So I think, yeah. I think player recruitment has been the biggest issue that you guys have had for what six seven years now yeah bro and it, that's actually it's crazy what you say like this because if you think of how many players actually have to leave oh you can talk about like over at half least the 10, squad at bro. least 10 half, oh yeah i think yeah more, that's what bro. i was gonna say at more. least 10. i think if any offer comes in for any of our players it's more than likely the club will take it there's not one player yeah. that i think of now the closest to it is probably bruno but if Bruno got it, if they gave, got it enough of a, uh, an offer for Bruno, they'd sell him, bro. Definitely. Yeah. They, there's no way they'd keep and him. And I don't from. think it really, I don't even think that would be a horrible getting rid of him. For me, he's been your guys' best player for the last yeah. two, three years. But he's another one that probably does need to leave. I mean, Luke Shaw is another one. He's a very mm. good player on his day, but you can't rely on him. I mean, yeah. the best... The best ability is availability, and he's always injured. So he's another one. I mean, Rashford's probably going to go. And then even like like you mentioned with the injuries, injuries is such a such a big part of the game. So you, you need players that can consistently be there for the team. If you look at Arsenal, for instance, I think we've had one of the, the, the least amount of injuries this season. And you can tell because the players are able to gel, they're able to play together. You guys had Casemiro at the back, who's obviously a, a class player, but yeah. he hasn't he hasn't played the same way for United as he's done for, for uh, when he was at Real Madrid. So I think, like you say, I think there's going to be at least 10 players need to go in it, and there's going to be a wholesale, wholesale changes throughout the team. You can't even pinpoint one location where it needs to be. I think we need to see a buy for United, about four top quality signings next season, and the season after that, another four top quality signings. And not necessarily even players that have the, the reputation or the price, they're players that actually fit the system that Ten Hag wants to, to play, whoever's the new manager. It mm. needs to be players that are very well scouted and are proven that they can gel in a team and they can easily fit into a system that the, the manager wants to deploy. Exactly, bro. And obviously like a, a good injury injury record. I would I would my yeah. I think if I was United, my shopping list would focus on the Premier League teams that are struggling a bit. I think there's a lot of players there that you let's example you can just bring them all together and like have this 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 solid team of guys who are in and around the Premier League. Mm. Talking about guys like okay, Ivan Tony is a bit of an expensive one. Ivan Tony, James Ward Prowse, that, that type of player. It's not going to cost too much, but at least I mean, you're even a even team. the guy that the guy that smashed you guys on on Monday, Olisi, Michael Elise. Olisi, if, Olisi, if you guys bring in someone like Elise, yeah. would do so well. Jared Brantway from Everton. I mean, these are Premier League yeah, proven players. Exactly. They would slot in. They would slot in straight away and would make such a such a big difference to your side. Exactly, bro. So if we can like go for like five six players of that level, let's say. Uh, mm. yeah, exactly what you're talking about, and then maybe one or two from uh, Portugal or Spain, so add a bit of flair, that type of thing. Then, then we then we're starting to build a, 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 a nice team, bro. The unfortunate thing is, what mm. I hate, bro, is it's ten years now, and we literally have to start from the bottom again. So, yeah, it seems like yeah. it's every single season. It, it's it's becoming like a recurring um, theme with you guys. It's, you guys sign these players, they don't fit in, and then you guys have to buy new players, and it's just that the, the cycle continues each season. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, bro. So, guys, thanks for joining us for that one. It was our uh, little rant about United. So, obviously, our main points there is Ten Hag, is he going to stay? Is he going to go? Who actually... I say go, teams, I say go. Beyond says go, I say stay, based on the fact that I don't know who else. I just don't want Southgate. 
But anyway, guys, <laughs> <laughs> that's our show. That's Cast Coach Report. Thanks so much for joining us, and until next time, cheers. Cheers, everybody.